The hashtag war heats up. More after the break. Good morning, Maryland. I mean, good morning, Memphis. I mean, good mythical morning. That's right. Okay. You know, yesterday we started an all-out war upon Good Morning Memphis and Good Morning Maryland. Well, a hashtag war. Oh, yeah. We're... Not an all-out war. Just a war on Twitter. Oh, there's no actual... No, there's, no, there's not going to be any actual damage done except in the Twitterverse. Okay, well, there. first of all, thank you, Mythical Beast. You are quite a herd. You are quite an army. I mean, we should do something like, we should actually do something like useful as opposed to just fight for a hashtag. To say, They're so good at fighting. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 could, I love the internet. I love the fact that we can reach these news anchors and weathermen and women and, and have- Just say meteorologists. Meteorologists. Or weather person. Weather persons. It's 2013. Uh, there is Twitter conversations happening left and right amongst you and all of these news tellers in Maryland and Memphis. Um, news teller. The, the Twitter hashtag war is in full swing and we are winning. Okay, well we have an update. Okay, here's the deal. Um, and this, I gotta admit, this is a little bit awkward. The, the yeah. situation with Good Morning Memphis has gotten a little bit awkward. Maybe we're not exactly winning. Maybe I overstepped my bounds. Uh, and this is what happened. Many of you came out and just tweeted the heck out of uh, this this thing, GMM means Good Mythical Morning, and you added Ernie Freeman, Valerie over at Good Morning Memphis. Mm -hmm. Well. They responded. I mean, you, this was just yesterday morning, and everyone immediately was tweeting about it, and then they immediately began to respond. Interesting, though, when Ernie Freeman responded to Gutless Musical, he said, we will stand and we will fight, hashtag Fox 13 GMM. That's not the hashtag we're fighting for. No. We're fighting for GMM. I know that. We don't want Fox 13 GMM. But if they're giving it to us, we'll take it. And then Val on Fox 13, she tweeted back at Epic Turtle Jam 85. She says, never! Hashtag Fox 13 GMM, don't quit. <laughs> okay. It seems that we have started a hashtag war with Memphis over a hashtag that we don't want. So I think we need to clarify a little bit. We want hashtag GMM, and I don't think you're using it. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let me clarify. Okay, first of all, they definitely used G hashtag GMM in the past, and a lot of their viewers have used hashtag GMM to refer to Good Morning Memphis. Memphis. Uh, but officially, over the past number of weeks, we don't know exactly how many weeks, the official anchors and meteorologists at Fox 13 have been using Fox 13 GMM. So, so they anticipated our onslaught and then gave up. So ahead this, of time. This is and first of we all, we accept your surrender in advance. A lot of people think that they've surrendered, and I, but I, I want to let you know that they haven't surrendered, but they don't have to. It's like it's like a schoolyard fight, and you're like you're fighting over a girl, and then all of a sudden you're, you're like, oh, I don't, I don't even like that girl. I'm with this other. You girl. can't have Cindy. Oh uh, yeah, but I, I'm with Amanda, and then you're like, uh, well maybe we Good. shouldn't fight. Yeah, so. So you can have Fox 13 GMM, great idea. Whoever thought of that, genius. It's, it's a win-win for everybody, including Good Morning Maryland, because now we are, we've removed that competition from them. Not that they're gonna ever beat us in the war, but now for us, we can fully focus our warships in Twitter on Good Morning Maryland. And here's, and first of all, the people at Good Morning Maryland have also responded. Megan Pringle, Megan from ABC2 says, Good Morning Maryland, Good Mythical Morning. Does it matter as long as it's good? I didn't know GMM was in a hashtag war. Hashtag peace, question mark? <laughs> Emphasis on the question mark because, yeah, it, it's happening, Pringle. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got M Michael Quander. It's so a quandary, he has been, he's gotten involved. He says, there's a war for the GMM hashtag between YouTubers, Rhett and Link, My Fox Memphis, and ABC2 News. What do you think, who do you think should keep it? That was kind of like a very newsy quote. You know, who do you think should keep it? It's like a teaser. They're yeah. gonna, more at 11. 
or after the break. But now, well, I think the answer is we should. Now, a lot of people are tweeting at Megan from ABC2, but her husband is Rob Carlin, Rob Carlin CSN, who he kind of, I think he's a news anchor somewhere else. He's like a soap opera. I don't know how, yeah, it's very, they're all connected. You know, you can only date other anchors when you're, when you're an anchor. That's the, uh, the anchor rule. Really? Yeah, that's why I didn't go into it. Because, you know, news anchors, you can't trust them, and they get up so early. They're all they pretty. Go to, they go to bed at like they're, 6 p.m. They're all pretty, though. Yeah, but men and women, they're all pretty. Beauty is fleeting, Handsome. Man. When you gotta go to bed at 6 p.m. and we can't hang out, it's like, I gotta get up at 3 a.m. and do the news. I can't date somebody like that. That's why I married a woman that's not a news anchor. And with a voice like this, <laughs> everyone loves to hear me talk about the latest happenings. But Rob Carlin, who is married to Megan from ABC2, says, Hey, good mythical morning peeps, lay off my wife, Megan from ABC2. She's no myth, she's the real deal, and GMM is good morning, Marilyn. But a little bit later, a little bit later. So he's talking smack. No. For, he's taking out for his wife. That's noble. No, but he tweeted that, and then 10 minutes later, he tweets, don't you good mythical morning peeps have jobs? Because what happened is, you mythical bees out there, you started responding to him and letting him have what for. He says, I can't speak right. for GMM at all, but I surrender. My wife is on her own. So he's just, he surrenders. He's given up the hashtag. But... Uh, it, this is, so th this is this is happening. What do we do? We we got to apply more pressure on Good Morning Maryland. Well, Charlie Krausen, who is the man at, uh, at Good at GMM, well, at Good. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. I was just I was good reading GMM. GMM. <laughs> good Morning Maryland says to Shumi thirty three. Hey, hun, GMM will continue to be used for Good Morning Maryland for as long as we see fit. Refrain from the demands. Okay, Good Morning Maryland. You're going down, it's just a matter of time. Listen, we've said that we will we will write you a jingle. All you gotta do, you heard the proclamation, all you have to do is on the air, give up hashtag GMM. We'll gladly sing you a song you can use for whatever purposes in perpetuity you wanna use it for. Everyone is gonna win if you just take a different hashtag. I mean, it's a foregone conclusion. It's This is gonna be better for everybody. Uh, we'll be watching your station uh, with bated breath, waiting for for the story. Yeah. So lay off of Good Morning Memphis. They got they got a different hashtag, but keep applying the pressure on Good Morning Maryland. Now, Kashi, uh, we asked you in an, an episode last week uh, to tw we. I mean, we've been doing a lot of things as as a herd. Can I just say herd? Can I call us the herd? I don't really like it because it just seems like cows. Pod. The mythical beast. beast. We asked the mystical mythical beasts, the mystical beasts, the mythical beasts, uh, to go on Kashi's Facebook page, trying to get them to let us be on the Good Friend cereal box. And first of all, we're not going to keep asking you to do these type of things. It just happened to happen in this close of a proximity with the hashtag war. But again, you guys blew us away, and the res you know, I again, I love the internet. The fact that Mr. Kashi himself has ad has addressed the issue. He responded. So Kashi posted this update on their Facebook uh, the day after the episode aired, and it has us on an actual box of Good Friends cereal, but I think, given the response time, that this is probably not an actual box. I think this is a Photoshop job. Right, but they, S Savag asked, is this Kashi's hand? They were, Mr. Kashi replied and said, yes, it is our hand. The royal we, I guess. Yeah, he speaks is, of himself in plural. And then Justin Tackett's like, so it actually happened? And Kashi's like, this is a prototype. So this is actually their photo of our photoshopped image on their actual box. They put best over good friends. And so it's 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 a prototype. It's not in production yet, but Kashi- It's a step in the right direction. We're though. waiting. We'll, 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 I'll keep scrolling down the aisles until I see us. I don't expect to, to hear anything ahead of time. I just expect to stroll down the aisle and see my face and your face. As a matter of fact, his face doesn't even have to be on it. If that's what's holding you back, it can just be my face. That doesn't it doesn't work then. What are you, a friend to yourself? <laughs> friend? If, if that's I'm I'm just trying to remove as many barriers as I can to be on to get in with Mr. Kashi. Okay, thanks to all you mythical beasts who have helped uh, mobilize these things on the internet. Now you know what time it is. Hey, Kitchener Farm from Sacramento, California. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. So continue the war, the hashtag war against Good Morning Maryland by copying and pasting the tweet and the description. But where it says insert name, actually insert a name. Don't just have insert name. A few of you did that. Yeah. Late for school. 
Oh man, you know, I'm glad I got this extra time here to do uh What day is nothing. it? What day is it? It's uh I don't even know, man. It's Saturday? It's definitely not a school day. No, 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 no. Yesterday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday, I'm sure of it, because I I've got my heart set on Saturday morning cartoons and I always watch them and it's not this morning. This morning's Friday. We're late for school. You take naps next to me while I just sit and look around. In our, in our, in our chair beds? <laughs> yeah. Let's just go back to sleep. Your school will be there tomorrow.